What up, YouTube? It's J Mac the Fanatic, and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be on NBA jerseys comparing the new Nike Swingman size large versus extra large. And then it's also going to be looking at the authentic. Same thing. Okay, so let's get started. First up, we have a new Nike Swingman D Wade Vice jersey. This is a size large 48. So if you didn't already notice, Nike is now calling 48, which was previously known as extra large. They're calling that large. So that's confusing as it is. 48 should mean 24 inches across pit to pit. However, when we go and measure this, we get a disappointing 21 and a half inches. I wanna make sure I'm getting this just right. Not cheating. It's exactly, there it is. There it is, 21 and a half inches. All right, 21 and a half, it's official. 21 and a half inches, all right? So not even 22. Now this is, again, a 48 Swingman, size large. Let's go over here to our Vice Wave jersey. It's a size 52 Swingman. As you can see, extra, extra large, 52, okay? Let's see what we got here. As you can see, okay. 23 inches, or if maybe, let's see. I find it to be 23 inches. I'm trying to get this exact now. I'm trying to get it exact. Twenty-three inches, guys. The verdict is in. Twenty-three inches for an extra large size fifty-two. Now let's see if there's any difference between the Swingman and the Authentic in terms of sizing. This is a new Nike size forty-eight Authentic. Okay. Once again, it should be 24 inches pit to pit. We know it's not gonna be that. We know it's gonna be much smaller. This is an AeroSwift material, which is how the, if this could focus, there we go. This is an AeroSwift material, size 48 large, which is the original run of the new Nike. Because as you can see, the next run is vapor, vapor knit which we'll come back, we'll come back to this one. But anyway, um, let's measure across. By the way, the Swingmen, both the Swingman jerseys were dry fit. So you've got three different names to be looking out for. All Swingman jerseys are dry fit, okay? The first run of Authentic is Aero Swift. And then the second run of Authentic, which means second run, the more recently produced the, and currently produced Authentic Nike jerseys are vapor knit. All right? So look for those to look out for the fakes, guys. Looking across, this is what we've got. Look at how damn small these Authentics are. 20 and a half inches. Even a little bit smaller than the Swingman. 20 and a half damn inches, okay? And if I sound a little upset, it's because I am. <laughs> um, why? I don't know. Because, I, well, I guess because I bought this thinking before I knew, you know? First of all, it was a little thinner. <laughs> but also, I thought they changed it on us, right? New Nike changed up the sizing on us. I thought they were just changing the numbers 
just for the hell of it to make us feel fatter or something, right? But no, not only did they change the numbers, but like this is 20 and a half on a size 48. So I, I don't care if you call it large or extra large, right? Just give me the correct width for the number. Match up the numbers with the correct width of the jersey. That's all I'm saying, okay? And 22 inches, guys. 22 inches on the authentic. We're looking at, let's see if I can stretch it anymore. We're looking at, okay, yeah. We can get to about, yeah. I think we're getting about 20, 22 and a half inches, guys. So in conclusion, the authentic jerseys are about a half an inch smaller than, yeah, smaller than the Swingman jerseys, okay? And the difference between the large and the extra large it was an inch and a half difference on the Swingman and on the authentic 20 and a half. It's, yeah, it's again, it's about the same. 20 and a half to 22, right? Would be an inch and a half, yeah. If anything, it's actually two full inches difference. And that probably has to do with the fact that they made them a little bigger now. I think they made them, no. They made them a little smaller, <laughs> I think, because the vapor knit, there's a slight, slight difference between the sizing of the vapor knit. I don't have a vapor knit, I don't think, to compare. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a vape. This is the only large I have, and it's a, it's an Aeroswift. So I don't have the vapor knit large to compare to the vapor knit extra large. But I believe there's a slight, slight difference between those two even. So guys, they really kind of messed up with the consistency, I feel. And uh, what about the quality between the Vapor Knit and the Aeroswift? I don't think there's any difference. You get the same stitching here, which is single stitched, whereas Authentics used to be double and triple stitched. As mentioned in my last video, they're going for a more light, weight okay performance based fit with the per uh, perforations in the numbers right the holes and then the single stitching and then you've got the same thing here single stitched with the single stitched number right so that's it guys if you have any questions um and you've also got the the perforations through different parts of the jerseys actually which is, it's, it's nice, it's nice. Um, I do think these jerseys are nice. It's just that um, the sizing is a little messed up for me. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and you know what, actually, I'll show you how these guys fit on me, all right?